Sorry guys, we got a fresh mail call and it's coming in hot. What's up, Wolfpackers? It's your boy, Wolf Doggy Dog. We got another one for you. Hot off the delivery truck, guys, we've got one of my favorite shows, Amazon's The Boys. Back of box gives us three display photos as well as logos from the brand. Side of box gives us no box art, but what NECA always does with the attention to detail just in the box. Sick patterns, I'm loving that. Here's your top of box. Here's our bottom of box with emphasis on the UPC. You know what to do guys, drop a like if you're enjoying this review, subscribe if you are new to the channel. What do you say we open up? Black Noir. As we open up the flap, we see the display window as well as the box art. Super sick, super dope. Can't wait to get this guy open. With A-Train already being announced and coming down the pipeline, question of the day. What figures do you want to see released next for the boys? Everyone's talking about rounding out the seven, but I'm going to go with my man Billy Butcher. You're looking well. Yeah, no thanks to the 50 caliber round that she pumped into my chest. Well, what don't kill you makes you stronger. Bam, Black Noir out of the package, guys. Let's take a closer look at his accessories. We see he comes with a total of six hands, two gripping, two fisted, two open palm, as well as his sick ass daggers. Come at me, bro. Hey, if you ever get Black Noir coming at you like this, you better just drop everything you're doing and just reevaluate your life because you ain't got much left of it. Super sick detail all the way around, guys. I love this design. I love the armor plating on this. So dope. Call me crazy, but I think with this figure, if you know nothing about it, it still has army build potential. Quick comparison to another strong silent type. I can totally see the resemblance. Wolfpack official measuring tape puts him right at about 7 inches. Yeah, he knows what the ladies like. So let's get into the look and detail of Black Noir. I love the texture all over this thing. Front to back, the texture on this is ridiculous. The level of detail in the molding. Look at the molded knife. It legit, legit looks like it can sheath out. The level of detail in the abs and the chest plate are ridiculous. It's, it's like a different texture. The one's a little softer than the other one. It's sick, super dope. And so some of the some of the images have silver around there. You can touch that up and customize it as you like. You gotta protect the junk. That's off top, and it's even textured. Good molding all the way around. They didn't even skimp on the legs. And if we check out the detail on the sheep boots on the inner thigh inner calf pretty good detail on those knives as well noir does come with peg holes at the heels as well as a textured boot before we move on to the articulation i wanted to point out that even the helmet comes pre-battle damage weathered NECA did install this plastic barrier so when it was coming out of the packaging it wouldn't damage that sheen shout out to qc for NECA so we've got that dumbbell barbell joint articulation from the neck to the head is going to give you a really good look down as well as a really good look up. We get that far side to side. So we get less than 90 degrees on the shoulder articulation with no butterfly joint. I'm actually okay with no butterfly joint. That would have hurt the altogether look of this chest plate. Soft pliable rubber on both ends of the shoulder, allowing for really good flex, really good movement on the figure. So we get NECA's version of the bicep swivel, as well as single jointed elbows with that soft pliable rubber, can bend in that far, out that far. Swivel and a hinge at the wrist, and really good detail at the end in the gloves. Soft pliable rubber is covering your waist swivel, so you're going to get really good flex with not a lot of hard hindering plastic, as well as we are getting an upper diaphragm rocker, similar to females in Marvel Legends. 
and the males with the waist swivel. Really good articulation on the waist. Kicks forward and back that far. One of the issues that I'm having with New War that I also had with Homelander is that this rubber is a little too long, a little too thick. If you're feeling crafty, get an X-Acto knife and shave it back just a little bit and save you a few extra inches. Not that he needs any. It's a NECA, so you know he's going to be able to spread it open pretty good. No thigh swivel to go with the single jointed knees on the lower half. No calf articulation either. I don't think it's intended to, but it looks like you're getting a little bit of swivel. Be real careful with that, guys. Similar to like a boot cuff, they're using that to hide the ankle joint. Still clicks up that far, back that far, and a very stiff 360. Now would be a good time to go get your bag of accessories, start kit bashing the bleep out of this joint. Separated at birth, I can totally see it. Nothing personal. Strictly business, baby. The Bat family's gonna have a stab at Black Noir. Who you got your money on? The darker the berry, the sweeter the juice. As Guardians of the Galaxy. So I didn't get to review these figures, but real quick, let's go over what I do and don't like. Head scope obviously could have been a little bit tighter to the actor. For being a 7 inch figure, Homelander is very stubby. Again, some of that could have been fixed by tightening up that brief, giving him longer looking legs. Starlight's all around look is great, looks really good to the show. I would like a season 2 uniform. Black Noir very well might be my favorite figure in this wave. Some of the positives that I have for this figure is that it's hard to tell when the actor stops and the figure starts. A lack of thigh cut and calf articulation really hinders this figure. He's not completely worthless from the waist down, but calf and thigh cut would have really helped. Tons of customizing potential as well as army building. I am loving this figure. The daggers fall out, so be careful with that, as well as the hands get warped from putting in bigger weapons that don't fit in the hands. Black New War would have got a 9 for me if he had better lower half articulation. I'm going to give him an 8. He's a solid 8. Fits in perfectly with this line. Possibly my favorite figure of the wave. Comment below. Alright guys, that's going to do it for this one. Drop a like if you enjoyed this review. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. Turn on those notifications. We will see you when the A-Train drops. Deuces.